So this fellow relapsed on NoFap. Relapse doesn't exist. Pretty much. This guy decided to use PMO. He thinks that PMO, quitting PMO requires willpower. It doesn't. You don't need any willpower to do something that you don't want to do. The problem is that this guy thinks he wants PMO and that he will always want PMO. And I'm not dissing this dude. He looks like a great dude. But um, <laughs> no homo. He is shirtless, but no homo. Um, my point is, is that you don't need any willpower to quit PMO. You don't need to relapse. That's all BS. And I'm going to show you exactly why we're going to react to this. Let's go. <sighs> Man, oh man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. My unbreakable discipline was broken. You don't need any discipline to not PMO. The only reason why you want a PMO is because you is because you want to, for various reasons, right? So that might sound a bit paradoxical, but look, if you think PMO provides you pleasure, if you think PMO provides you emotional relief, if you think it provides you this effect, that effect, masculinity, whatever it might be, whatever subgenre into, if you think it provides that to you, value of PMO goes way up. So the only reason why this guy has to use discipline is because he believes PMO does special stuff for him. So, yeah. So I guess it, I guess it was breakable because uh, I just touched my cock. Cheeky advert. I really just whacked my little weenie. I went crazy with it. Wop, wop, wop the whole nine yards. I was looking at Titty's ass. All of it. All of it. And, you know, I feel guilt. But the only thing you can do is, is dust yourself off and get back on the road. The road to being the best man you could be. Because I've talked about it a million times before. The hub and whacking off, it's not good for you. It messes up your brain. It's a scientific fact. And um, the problem with whacking off without the hub is that you're still reciting memories of it is what they've found. So it's still bad. You pretty much just have to stop whacking if you have an addiction. And you probably have an addiction. Maybe you don't. How do you determine who has an addiction and who doesn't? There's no, there's actually no good argument to determine the two, to like distinguish the two. No one has an addiction. You just really like jerking off to porn. That's the most rational conclusion. But you do though. So this is ga like gaslighting. Like, do you see what I mean? Like he's saying that you, oh, you have an addiction. No, you don't. No one has an addiction. Like literally no one does. How could you not get addicted to porn? Like. You don't. You just don't. It's so, it's dope. Like, you literally, you go on there, it's a bunch of dopamine, you whack off, it feels good, and it's so accessible. So, right, so that's exactly why he is addicted to porn. That's exactly why he really enjoys PMOing. That's the exact reason why he is finding it difficult to stop. I don't view the world the same way, so I don't have to use discipline to not PMO. Do you see what I'm saying? He's saying he said in the same breath, in the same breath, I just, I need more discipline and I need more discipline because PMO is so good. My view is that PMO isn't so good, therefore I need zero discipline. Do you understand the difference? He's saying, I like PMO so much, it's so great, it's so great, it's so great. Therefore, I need more discipline. I'm saying, instead of needing more discipline, why don't you just not like PMO? Then you need zero discipline. So it's it's inherently um... and I'm I'm not coming across as like so I, I know it might I might be coming across as like some smug asshole but and I was trapped in this I was trapped in this trap for six years like six years of doom just going round and round and round and round PMO relapse PMO relapse so coming out of it I'm very frustrated about any ideas like this floating around I don't blame this guy at all like I completely understand where he's coming from like completely and entirely and yet it still it still does irritate me to see that. So many false ideas can be being spread around and be infecting people's minds. It does annoy me because the ultimately the ideas, the toxic ideas, the false ideas, the ideas that he's trying to convince you of by saying that oh you're addicted. These are the things that actually are what keeps you trapped. These ideas keep you trapped. Mm. And don't take me, don't take from me. I'm a young dude, freedom model. That's where I got everything from. These guys are the real experts. In the description, 
read that book all the way through. Trust me, that's what I did. That's how I got free. Addictive. So everybody's going to get addicted to it. All the dudes, at least. No, 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 no. That's not true. No, 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 no. That's what he thinks. That's an opinion. That's an opinion. That's a no-fap opinion. That's a no-fap belief. That's exactly why he's finding it difficult to quit. <clears throat> Even some girls. Oh, uh, yeah. It's pretty bad. My longest streak was like a year. I was going... People say the same thing about cigarettes, booze, drugs. Like, oh, they're so good. Obviously, you get addicted to them. And it's like, no, you won't. Not if you don't really like it that much. Not if you don't really see much value in it. You won't get addic addicted to it. Great. But it all changed once I once I started fucking. I, f I I had sex like three times, and I was, and then it just stopped. And then after that, I started whacking all the time. Not all the time. I would go on like three month three no three week to a month streaks after that year streak, and I lost my virginity. And then my most recent one was like a month. And now there uh, now I just whacked off again. It's tough, you know. It's not it's not bad. I think I've I've made a lot of steps. You're supposed to feel guilty, but you're also supposed to uh have hope for the future. So I just want to I want to uh I want to help people who might have relapsed. So yeah, so this is why I think these guys are good people because ultimately they want to help people. Right? So even though they're they're spreading damaging info, it's not their fault and they're not a bad person for it because from their perspective they think they're doing good. So props to this guy. What matters is the intention. Is he intending on doing good for the world? It looks like it. So this is a good, this is a great person, and yet simultaneously his ideas are really toxic. So you can you can hold the two, same two opinions simultaneously. They're completely not contradictory. Someone can be an amazing amazing person and yet can be spreading advice that is absolutely the worst toxic most damaging thing ever. <laughs> the two can be can coexist completely. You know, there's no logical um, contradiction going on there. I want to put it out there even though it's goofy so I'm like held accountable and uh yeah accountability this is another thing that uh, is another myth like you don't need to be held accountable for something that you don't want to do so if you don't want to PMO there's no use in being accountable for it like I said this in the, in the last vid where it's like um I couldn't tell you how long it's been since I had a drink I don't know when the last time I had an alcoholic drink is it could be two months ago, it could be three, it could be one month. Like, I, I literally don't remember and I don't care. And I don't need accountability. Why? Because I don't want to drink that much. So I don't, there's no achievement if I don't drink. It's the same thing with PMO. But it's not if you have this guy's mindset, which it, the mindset keeps you trapped. Also, this is a good time to appreciate how far I've come. Let me tell you, I used to be so in the trenches. I think I jacked off more than I ate. Like per day, three meals per day. But I would, I would hit four. I would hit four <laughs> consistently. Wow. And um, <laughs> impressive. The hub. Eventually, the hub wasn't enough. I had to go to Reddit because it's just like all these internet fucking goblins on Reddit condense just all the all the best segments of it, and then you just scroll through. You click best of all time to see the best of the condensed segments. I've been there and looking back on it, it wasn't even that good. Like now that I think about it, it wasn't even that good. I wasn't even having that good of a time mid session. Now that I look back on it, I I feel so much better now just sitting here. Like the windows, there's sun coming through the windows. I'm just sat here on my own. Like it's, I'm just, I feel better now mid PMO session than I ever did. Like I feel better now doing nothing, sat here, drinking green tea, doing shit all, just fucking doing nothing. I did ever mid PMO session like no joke the only times I probably felt better mid PMO session was when I was younger before I found no fat when I was just starting out and it was like new and exciting but after age 16 17 I never had a good time doing it like I I did to some extent but I've never felt as good as I have now just sat here doing nothing feeling good feeling okay and you can get here too guys you know read the freedom model do exactly what I did and and you know, hopefully arrive at the same results as what, I, what I've got. And I'm not saying you're going to turn into me. Like, you're going to turn into your own PMO-free version of yourself, whatever that may be. So, and you can look forward to that. And I hope you achieve it. And I hope that you feel better in the future. The novelty is endless. 
There was like this 15. Oh yeah, the novelty, right? So there's so much novelty of makeup YouTubers on the internet. Do you know how many makeup YouTubers there are? So many. There's so much novelty. And yet I have no interest in it. Why? Because I don't like makeup. And neither do you. You're probably some like male-brained dude. So obviously you don't like makeup. And yet there's so much novelty of makeup YouTubers. The only reason why you why novelty is a factor is because you care about PMO to begin with. So when you stop caring about PMO, you stop caring about the novelty. I used to play this video game, Dota 2, which is essentially like League of Legends. And I would always tell myself, like, oh, there's so many heroes and there's so many characters and there's so many ways the game can go. It's just so exciting. It's so novel, blah, blah, blah. Then when I stopped playing Dota 2, I don't care about the novelty anymore because I don't care about the game anymore. Do you get it? In second, porn one I used to go to all the time. And it would just, it would take a porn video, put it down into 15 seconds. It's just ridiculous, bro. What that was doing to my head isn't right. Especially because I started when I was like 12 or 13. And when I was 12 or 13, I was developmentally so young, dude. I was a little tiny little boy just whacking away. I remember when I first jacked off, I, I couldn't even like, uh, this is weird. This is weird to talk. I know what he's going to say. And I was exactly the same. So let's hear it. But like it didn't. He's going to say it. he can't ejaculate. It wasn't the same because when I nutted, nothing even came out. There we are. I haven't seen this video. I just knew what he was going to say. I was the same. You were probably the same. I, my body wasn't even producing nut yet. Yeah, me too. And that's on <laughs> God. God damn. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. But I... No, no, I do know. I came a long way. Look where I'm at now. I used to whack off four times a day for years on end. <clears throat> In high school and like late middle. Okay, he's gonna talk about his whacking off. I think this is basically the end of the real part. They have it. these little machines now that feels like a blowjob. What if it's the move? What if honestly you just like, you stop dealing with all the rigmarole with actual women and you just get these machines, dude? Because there's so much more to it than that. Like people make the equivalence like what one can replace the other, and I mean. Can't really, can it? Anyway, I think that's basically the end of all of the useful stuff. Um...